Well, Asus Aura is not working again with the latest version. Let's get that fixed now too. Okay, so Asus is at it again. Um, they have their most recent updates and uh, Aura for some reason is now giving you this message, which is Asus Aura has stopped working. I think I found a pretty simple fix. You can go through my previous instructions on how I did this last time. Video description to below, uh, below, I'll link that last video. It's fixed um, a lot of, uh, it's fixed it for a lot of people, I'll put it that way. So it's a good thing. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and make sure that we have the most recent version of uh, your BIOS downloaded if needed. They always recommend that you get your BIOS updated based upon your motherboard. And where I get my stuff here is I just go to rog.asus.com and then we're gonna download the Asus Aura software directly from here. Um, I know some people say that they like using Armory Crate. I don't like that bloatware running in the background as it is. We have enough stuff running between IQ and NVIDIA uh, GeForce Experience and your mouse software and your uh, overclocking software for your uh, GPU and all of this stuff. It's just, it's, it's crazy. So let's limit the bloatware. I have it disabled in BIOS. Uh, we can cover that in a different video if, if you guys want to know how to do that. It's very simple. Um, but anyway, go to rog.asus.com. We're gonna go over here to downloads. I'm gonna actually make this full size so hopefully people can see it. I've gotten some feedback saying that they can't see my screen. So uh, go up here to downloads, click on this. Okay, so for some reason today, this is how the, the site is coming up on all of my computers. There's several ways of getting to the software that you need. I'm gonna show you the one I use the most of the time and I'll show you a second one just so you know how to get to it. Next to this right here, if you hover, it'll tell you that it's AuraSync. So click on AuraSync and this will bring you into um, the most recent version for all of them. You go up here to download and it will tell you right now that the most recent version is the 107.71. You're gonna go ahead and click on save and then they'll save in your download uh, file. The other way of getting to it, and I'm just gonna go back to this again, is for me, I do a lot through this site. It's real simple. Go under my motherboard. This motherboard in, in particular is the Maximus Asus, I'm sorry, the Maximus 11 formula. Uh, maybe you have the 11 Extreme, maybe you have uh, a Hero, you know, whatever it is that your board is. Pick your board, go to support, and go to driver and utility. I'm sure everybody knows how to do this. And then, you know, pick your version of Windows that you're running. And then at the bottom, I found, is where they're doing their Aura Lighting Control. So again, 10771, you can download it from here. They always recommend that you're running the most uh, current version of, bio, uh, of your BIOS, which um, I am on this one right now. Um, so you'll download that. And then you're also gonna wanna go and download what's called C Cleaner. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below for that. Or you can do Revo Uninstaller, and I'll put the link for this one as well. I prefer using CCleaner. It's um, very simple to use. Uh, the free version has more to it than, in my opinion, the Revo Uninstaller does. But regardless, I will put those both in the description uh, for you below. So we now have uh, that downloaded. And I'm gonna go into, and I've already fixed this, so I can't show you the problem other than the screenshot of when I was trying to figure it out. Uh, I've got the uh, lighting control downloaded. That's your folder. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to go, and I like to do this through the old school control panel. That's why I always leave it down here is I just prefer that, but go to control panel, and I can't type today. All right, and go into your programs and features, and you're going to First, go to Aura Service, and this is what fixed it, this one for me specifically. So we're just gonna do the abridged version, uh, and if you wanna do the long version, if you, this doesn't work for you, you can go below. Again, I've got that linked. Go to Aura Service, click Uninstall, and you're gonna go ahead and uninstall. And I've already done this, so I don't wanna go through this again, but uh, uninstall this, 
after it's uninstalled, run CCleaner, which I have it saved on my desktop. Uh, physically go to registry and then scan for issues. And then it looks like I've got some uh, things here I can clean up. Uh, you're gonna fix selected issues. You wanna back up, I don't, uh, I don't really have any need for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Um, I'm gonna click fix all selected issues closed. I like to run it a second time because sometimes things pop up. They don't always, okay? Restart your computer. After you've restarted the computer, you're gonna come back in and you're going to go ahead and run the ASUS setup. I know it sounds strange because it's already got it installed, but what it's going to do, hopefully, is reinstall that Aura service. If it doesn't, you might get this error that says ASUS Aura service not found or not running. You simply go into lighting service folder here. So again, you go back to your downloads, you go into your lighting control after it's extracted. You're gonna go into the lighting control and right above ASUS setup here, you're gonna go into the folder that says lighting service, at which point you're gonna run Aura service setup, okay? And I've already got it installed again. Uh, you could do it on install from here as well. I prefer doing it from the control panel, but at this point you would then click on install and it will install it for you. At which point you should be able to go ahead and restart your system again and everything should now work as normal. Again, if that doesn't work, the next step you could do is that again, you could go ahead and then go back in here if you want to do it a little bit more extensive, go back into your programs and features. You can go down, uninstall Aura service, and then uninstall Aura. It will have you restart your computer. So that's re removing the whole program. Run your C cleaner. You could then come back and install it. It should then at that point still recognize it. And then uh, if you need to go into the that folder again, that lighting service folder, and uh, install or service that should fix your problem. If again, that doesn't all work, then your next scenario would be able to do that again, and then go into your uh, program files x86, and you would actually, after you've uninstalled all of that previous stuff, you would actually delete the lighting service folder, again run CCleaner, start fresh, and then go from there. You shouldn't have to get this far. Uh, it worked just fine for me just doing it out of um, reinstalling through the uh, Aura service executable within the lighting services folder. Um, today, quick video, uh, just addressing again, another issue with uh, ASUS. I don't know why they can't get their software right. It is so frustrating. Um, this was meant to be a quick one today. Uh, if you would like me to talk about how to, one, um, have Armory Create disabled in BIOS. I can show you how to do that so that that will not be on your system at all. Again, I don't like that blowware. Two, if anyone needs a, wants me to do a tutorial on how to properly update your BIOS, I'm more than willing to do that as well. I mean, it, it might be a nice short video. Uh, if you get any other suggestions, let me know, please uh, leave a comment uh, below. Otherwise, hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, you know what else to do. Hopefully it's not that. Please hit that subscribe button for me as it does help this channel. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks.